we decided to make an alternative life on land and water. And this is our life. Is this a place where we can go home? Is this a place where I lay my bones? Is this a place where I kiss the ground? And feel side and see side and satellite sounds? Is this a place where the ones were so proud? Is this a place where we laugh with the crowd? So some train company made me late, so three hour journey took six hours and I've got no time to do the things I was supposed to do tonight. Very tired faction. So we're going on. A few bars around here kicking off. It's gonna be a late one. Right, here we go then. No sleep. I haven't done half the checks we want to do on the boat, but we're doing it really quickly before we do seriously commit. But we're going to go to the fuel dock. We're going to fill up to the brim, to the top, and we're just going to rock it through the lock and just get going. And the wind's with us, which is amazing. So we're going to be downwind, um, and we're going to rock it on whilst we've got it behind us. It is wind over tide, and we're not going to get smashed in, but we're going to go fast. Uh, we've got to cash it in, so uh, we're off hell. <laughs> So you've probably heard that um, sporadic alarm going off, which has transpired to be bilge alarm. And we have got a port side engine bay ingress. We're, we're manually pumping it, taking it in turns. Well, mostly actually, <laughs> Paul's been uh, down there pumping it. Cheers, dude. We had about a foot of water in there, so it's up to the bottom of the engine, and so the alarm's going off. And basically, this ship is sinking. The sea trial did not reveal all. We're gonna have to pump that for the whole 26 hour journey. So we're gonna pump that to death. What a bit of a scary surprise that is. Nicely out in the sea now, averaging about seven knots. Uh, just on the Genoa, which is pretty wicked. Lots of sandbanks. Lots of waves, a bit of smashing, but. Pretty cool, I think. Yeah, out in the tents. <laughs> we are getting quite smashed in by the sea. I think we've got quite a big wind over tide situation going on, and it's kind of like diagonal coming across, and it's rolling the boat and it's smashing us in the side. So we're getting kind of like a good beam smashing. But it's amazing. We're at sea. We're out. We're out of the estuary. We're out of the oil world. We missed all the other boats, that's wicked. Loads of boats sailing, but full on bent right over, healing to death. But there's been some amazing stuff. I'm loving it. We're gonna sail through the wind farm, but we're gonna kind of crack on and see what we can do.
So now I've got a minute and uh, first time I've kind of had any time to kind of sit really and think and it's kind of a funny journey it's straight away you know you get a minute and you start to think about the kids and you know this is the uh, first time I've left my kids it's really weird I miss them insanely but it was a bit of an arduous journey getting here and the whole thing about this boat is it needs a lot more work doing on it before the kids go on it and I mean a slightly horrible discovery is that I am currently on board a sinking ship and that's not a situation I want my kids in so um, there's a very specific reason they're not on this trip but yeah just kind of sat in for that kids but when the sun comes up tomorrow I'm going to see my little kids and my first mate of course and uh, it's going to be an amazing big reunite can't wait can't wait night all arrives it's insanely calm there's like this sinister suspicious calm going on after all the smashing you know like six seven hours of getting smashed to death and suddenly the water's like a pond and I'm just kind of sat here thinking about what I've just been doing for a couple of days and I've had no sleep and we've, we got here so fast six hours early we're now gonna get the anchor out after the whole engine bay ingress thing which we're still pumping <laughs> It's been an absolute bonkers journey. It's smashed me out of my cocoon and frightened and inspired me into something new. And I'm just exhausted but elated and sitting looking around. <laughs> I had this whole thing in my head to paint the picture of my journey and I'm just sat on the bow of the boat, battered, <laughs> dying to sleep. But I'm so amazingly awake and alert that I can't so I'm gonna sit on the boat for about six hours and when the tide comes up getting the new mooring for the first time anyway mind blown fried destroyed live I'm loving it and uh, <laughs> ready for more anyway that's the end of our journey for now please if you can humor our stupid stories of what our family's kind of doing Please like and subscribe. We will love you forever. Keep watching and keep in touch and get involved. We're going to do a Patreon thing at some point. We've set it up, but we're not ready. Nothing's ready, dudes. Keep safe. See you later.
on a little day Just to hold you Whoa, On a little day On a widow day Just to hold you On a widow day For your arms On a widow day Just to hold you On a widow day So join us in our journey as our family grows, learns and explores. Please like and subscribe to help us tell our story as it unfolds. Yeah. <laughs>